This is a message to the British people. I am speaking to you today about an issue that has been ignored for far too long. Yet another so-called grooming gang scandal has broken. But this is not just a newspaper headline, something that will die down and then we can all go back to normal. This ends now. The stories behind these headlines are real people, real families, real girls who have been raped in the most brutal manner. They are owed justice and justice they will have. I have ordered an immediate and full public inquiry into the police failure to protect our children from the grooming gang menace that plagues our country. Over the coming days, I will visit Greater Manchester to find out who is responsible for the failures there. I will leave no stone unturned. Let me make this assurance to you now. Whoever made the decision to allow children be raped in Manchester will be removed from their job. They will also face criminal charges. There will be no whitewash and no backroom deals. The same will happen in Rotherham, Rochdale, Birmingham, Oxford, Telford and anywhere else we know these terrible crimes are taking place. As well as restoring police numbers, For Britain will make sure that violent crime is prioritised. Instead of policing so-called hate speech or Twitter, police will be sent to the streets to keep your children safe. If they fail to do this, they will no longer be police officers. It's as simple as that. For a generation, we know that police have looked away from these crimes. And they did so because the majority of rapists involved were from a Muslim background. And these were racist crimes. The majority of victims involved were young white girls. It is time to speak out against this. Crimes against white people will no longer be tolerated and will no longer be shrouded in silence. Political correctness will no longer dictate our response to crime and we will not hide away from the causes. Whatever it is that encourages this rape culture, even if that encouragement comes from religion, we will face up to that. While we will never tolerate abuse of innocent Muslims, we will face the fact that this crime is largely carried out by Muslims and we will ask why. We will face the truth. The people of this country have been bereft of leadership for so long, but no longer. Justice is late, but it is coming. I am just as disgusted by these crimes as the rest of the decent British people. This will no longer be swept under the carpet. Justice for the victims of rape and the prevention of these terrible crimes is one of my personal priorities and I will not let you down. Whoever and whatever needs to be confronted will be confronted. We will not run and hide from the truth. This crime will end. These scandals will end. Our girls will receive justice. The time is now.